welcome to perceptions by the dial it's nice again to be here with you in today's video i would like to talk about how we can beat procrastination before i delve into talking discussing about procrastination i think it's um, a good place to say thank you to everyone that's supported this channel so far we've exceeded the 1000 mark subscriber I didn't know how we did that in less than two months, but I can only say thank you to everyone that subscribed and support and are providing support to this channel. And this is mostly, I think, largely the reason why I've decided to talk about procrastination. Because thinking about the basis and the reason why they start, the, the channel started and what has happened over the last few days during the lockdown, and most people are coming out of the lockdown. I think it is very important to just talk about this journey a bit, and especially how I managed to be able to beat that procrastination, putting it, I'll do it tomorrow, I'll do it tomorrow, and just taking it by, by the horn and doing this, because it really, really is something worth sharing this uh, journey of beating procrastination and how I've done it and how you could also do it in your daily life and in what you do. So join me as we walk through few steps on how to beat procrastination. The first thing to look at is what is procrastination itself? Procrastination can be defined uh, in my own definition as deferring what you need to do today, what needs to be done, and pushing it into tomorrow. You see, there is this saying that says, tomorrow never comes, because your tomorrow is always going to be tomorrow. There is always going to be a tomorrow. You see, yesterday's tomorrow is today, and we are always going to be in the tomorrow. So. Pushing things into tomorrow doesn't solve it, it only gets it undone. And you see, there's a bridge between your ideas and your reality. Now, not doing things is not taking the bridge from your ideas to the reality. So many of us, like myself, we have lots of visions, lots of dreams, lots of things to do, but we don't take the step of doing we keep pushing the things we need to do that needs to be done and we get them moved to tomorrow and because tomorrow never comes we never do those things so and one of the things is the consequences of procrastination can actually range from you know pushing and deferring things can actually range from being very mild to serious and that's why it depends. But what we're talking about is how it affects who we need to be in our journey to success by not doing the things that matter to our success journey. Now, tomorrow never comes. We can always say tomorrow, but tomorrow will always be today, every one day. Your tomorrow is going to be your today, one day. So you can keep deferring things that needs to be done. Things that are important, things that are urgent, or things that are important but not urgent. And we'll get to this as we go on in the story, in, in this discussion. Now, procrastination is has its own consequence. It could range from mild consequence to serious consequences and i'll give an example of consequences of procrastination going to the hospital on time when you have noticed the symptom of something that doesn't make you feel very well could either it could either be serious or not but the earlier you go you could diagnose what the issue is with your health the more you defer and then 
you find out that you one day this has become a burden it might be too late to treat now that is one of the consequences of procrastination on a, on, on your health now another way you can procrastinate and it affect you is when you how do you put this one when when you don't pay a bill on time in the uk where i'm based if you miss a direct debit the first time i think the the business takes tries again after seven days now if you don't pay your bill on time it it affects your credit rating and it's it, a bad credit rating affects a lot of stuff in the a, a lot of stuff not only in the uk i think most countries in the world use credit rating reference um, agencies to understand and see how trustworthy you are with paying bills now deferring your bills and not paying them on time without proper arrangements in place can be very dire can be very very can leave very serious consequence on your on your credit now these are some of the things you need to know and that the consequences that procrastination can bring there are many other things your relationship for example it might it might be very funny this i will say but it's true the fact that you don't profess or provide time or get time to spend with your kids your spouse can have very dire consequences on your marriage it could lead to divorce could lead to anything so this is why we need to be very very conscious that procrastinating or procrastination is not what we should be doing and i i really want to take us back into this four quadrant and help us see how we can be procrastination I am not going to speak about the medical researches that have been done about procrastination. There are lots of links and there are lots of stuff on the internet. But I want to talk us through how you can be procrastination by just because there is always a bridge between your ideas and your reality. Now, you for you to move from your idea to your reality, you need action. Now, you can be a good thinker. You can be an idealist. You can be an. You can have good ideas. You can have good visions. But it takes you to move and do things for you to get into your world of reality. Now, the lack of action, despite the fact that you have depth of thought, good thoughts, good thinking, nobody knows your mind. So until you act it out, you won't be able to move and show what exactly what is in you. Or what you, you can share your ideas, but the world only knows people that do stuff and that's why you need to do things that's why we need to be doers now it's just like things every it's just like newton's law of motion things would remain in a position of rest until there is an action or a force that moves them now many of these things are, 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 are just like me i'm a very quiet person i'm introverted i don't talk too much and because of that i might stay it's easy for me to stay in the thinking world it's easy for me to stay in the idea zone and not want to move into the action zone because i would like to take my time to think through processes and before enacting an action and that at times makes me not to move into in, in, in into the reality of my ideas of doing things and that's why this channel is a very typical example i wanted to plan everything out my outlines my script for the next 10 20 videos i wanted to plan out my content i wanted to get the right gadget but frankly it was not going to be the best too because i'll keep putting it forward and how did i just get I started i started with shooting with my phone without proper lighting i just took on the task of doing just start the channel take the step of starting that's all i did because if I was waiting for the right environment, if I was waiting for the right tools, if I was waiting for the right gadget, the right content, I'll keep pushing it out. I will never finish it. But I understand that I could polish, the, I could get better, I could learn better, I could develop, I could, I could look at comments in the section that you leave most times and develop. And that's why I decided to move. Plan as I go, foresee, changes learn from changes and keep moving and that's how i moved from my idea of having a channel to move into reality even though it's early days 
but it's been a success story for me already and that's why I can share how you can move and do the same and get yourself writing that book get yourself taking that step in that career take yourself to develop you know get yourself ready to start your own channel start your online business but you can't keep thinking about it and waiting for only the right everything because life is in seasons you need to know that life is in seasons and results cannot be forced but we can inch closer to the right result by taking a step every day now how do we know why do we procrastinate why do we procrastinate i think we need to understand the reasons for procrastination there are lots of reasons for procrastination and i don't want to dwell on so many reasons but i'll give just two reasons two reasons why i believe we procrastinate now the right diagnosis of a symptom will help to understand the remedy to that symptom or to that ailment now a wrong diagnosis will diagnosis will make people be that will begin to treat the wrong thing so if we really know the reasons why we procrastinate if you know the reason why you procrastinate i know why i procrastinate i always wait for the right season i want to be a thinker i want to be a plan i want to be a planner that plans all the from the beginning to the end and i found that it doesn't really help me so i've decided to take steps which i will talk us through but i just want you to find out why do you procrastinate because when you know the reason you can then get the mitigations now what are some of the reasons why i procrastinate one of them is fear of failure i have the fear that it's very possible that if this doesn't take off what am i going to think of myself how would like perceive myself so the fear of how much I've invested, the time I've invested, gives me a reason to rethink my step before taking them. And most times I feel, is it really important? So fear of failure, very key for me is fear of failure. Because what is fear itself? It's false evidence appearing real. It's it, it's it's not having faith it's having a pessimistic outlook on life about a particular tax or activity that if it fails i would like to, I, I would i would like to move on now this most times the fear of failure also stems out from the fear of criticism oh what will other people say when it doesn't work well what will my colleagues say if I fail at this task? So we need to be able to balance. Most times we fear because of what people will say when we're starting. Do you want me to say this? One thing I found reading uh, Malcolm Gladwell's book is, you, I think it was out, either The Outliers or David and David and Goliath. One of the things that I found out in the book is you at times need to you will be alone in some of your journeys. Most times you will be the only one in your journeys. So fear of what people say at times should not drive you. I was reading his um, book, David and Goliath, and I, I was looking at the, the story of how IKEA started. And it, it just makes me understand that what people say should not be your driving point. What you know and your idea, the plans you have in place, moving it, from that idea to reality should be your driver, the driving force. So fear is a big reason for me not doing so many things in my life. I don't know what yours is, but I would like you to find out for yourself what it is. One other thing that, one other reason that I would like to discuss, I can mention some of the other ones, is distraction. You're doing something, for example, and get distracted, and you put what you're doing away. And you begin to look into what distracted you for example you're doing especially in this season of working from home it's so easy to be distracted while you're working you remember you need to do the washing you need to put things on uh, and you just get distracted some of the things that distract us so easily is social media for example i want to shoot a video but instead of shooting the video i'm reading through some news doing some research i get carried away i get distracted and i'm looking into youtube watching so many videos before i know it my content is not even developed at all and i just oh well i'll do it tomorrow 
and that have been distracted. We get easily distracted and distraction at times takes us away from the core and makes us push things into the, the tomorrow that never comes. Now, I just want to hint on this, that time is finite. We only have 24 hours in a day. We can create one more hour, one more second or one more minute. So we need to make sure that we understand what it's our time and we can manage the finite time to do what we need to do. Let, let, let me pull it close to the video here and um, recap. In the next video, there'll be a second part to this um, where we'll talk about how to beat procrastination. In this video, we've talked about what procrastination is. And um, we've looked at two main things that causes us to procrastinate. Fear, fear of failure, fear of criticism, and distraction. And there are so many other ones. There's lack of motivation. There is, there, there, there is um, lack of inspiration in being in the wrong job, being in the wrong company, so many other things. But we've dwelt a bit on fear false evidences appearing real and distraction. In the next video, we would look at these four quadrants and exactly what we need to do to be able to beat those steps we need to take to be able to beat procrastination. Thank you. Join me in the next video and I'll see you soon. Cheers and bye.